Good evening, it is February 19th, 2013. My name is Max Sullivan, and I will be testing lab number two from Computer Networking, a top-down approach, um, a UDP ping server. Now, this um, project is designed to prove the unreliability of UDP. Uh, unlike TCP, which ensures that packets are delivered, UDP does not. Uh, they can just get dropped. And that's pretty much the end of it. Uh, we will do this using two different programs. Uh, the first of which, we will send a message to a, uh, a UDP server in lowercase and request that the message be sent back uh, capitalized. And the second of which, we'll send 10 pings to the server and see how long it takes them to get there and if they are received or if they time out. Um, now it should be noted, first of all, that the ability to start and terminate the server was provided by Dr. Joel Rosine uh, from Eastern Connecticut. Um, and inside of the UDP server, we will generate a beep noted by this command here, uh, which will return a, a loud beep every time the server is accessed. Uh, it is bound to port 80, as you can see here and it will uh, return a message in uppercase or return a ping. Uh, this will be oops, the first uh, UDP client that we will be testing is this here. Uh, it will send a message as that we will input using this command. It will open up a box. We will input a lowercase message. It will send it to the UDP ping server, which will then hopefully return it uh, in uppercase due to this command here. The second that we will run will send 10 pings. Uh, the counter goes to 11, as you see here, because the counter is less than 11, which is a total of 10. Uh, also through port 80 on our local host. And this program will, in fact, uh, tell us the amount of time it took for the ping to return. Um, it takes the current time and the end time. Uh, this is the current time, and then after the ping comes back, that is the end time there. Uh, it subtracts TN from T start to give us a total amount of time it takes for the ping to return. Now, if we run the ping server uh, start and terminator that was provided by Dr. Rosine externally, we can start the server, then go again to the first UDP client, which should provide us an input a lowercase message. So we will input that message. As you can see, we heard a beep, which was uh, indicating that the server was contacted by the local host, and it did in fact return an uppercase version of the word that we typed in, which was something. Um, now, if we switch over to the ping, this one will just return a message that says ping, and then uh, tell us how long it takes to receive that message, or it will say that the request timed out because we are only giving it uh, one second for <coughs> the ping to successfully complete its journey. Um, so if we terminate the client and then go into and reinitialize the Python engine, once again, just to make sure, we'll terminate. And then we go to UDP client 2. So we will start and then run the program. Uh, again, we just have to input a message. It lets it, it gives it something to um, initialize with. Now, uh, we did hear, in fact, uh, 10 returns from 10 different pings and successfully completed a total of uh, 8. As you can see, we sent out a ping. Uh, this is the total amount of time it took for that ping to come back, which was about a half a second every time. Uh, on the third and tenth time, it did, unfortunately, time out, which means that the request took more than one second and it could not be returned. However, <coughs> this proves 
that uh, UDP is not always the most reliable protocol as this request times out and it's not sent again it just sends a total of the amount of times that we requested which in this case was 10 and if it gets dropped pretty much oh well uh, <laughs> you don't get to uh, you don't get that packet back um, but in conclusion we've proven that our UDP ping server can be pinged a certain number of times and it will return the amount of time it will take and it can also be uh, sent a single message and have it return um, that single message in uppercase uh, there is the possibility that that message does not get returned because it takes too long for the server to comprehend and send it back um, however luckily for us that did not happen in this case so that is our successful UDP ping server.